Hello and happy Sunday. Today in this video, I just wanted to have a little more relaxed day since it's about 106 degrees outside. And I have this Monstera plant that I think the roots are like overgrown. Yeah, look at that. The roots are completely like taking over the soil. This thing I had to keep on watering every single day and it was getting really difficult to keep it wet enough so that way I could keep it from dying. So I just wanted to repot it and I figured that I could tilt it upwards that way it grows upwards because it was kind of just growing out of that little small pot and growing like off the side and I was afraid that it was going to tip over all of the time. So I went to Walmart, I bought this, this huge pot and some potting mix that way I could do this and just give it a new nice happy home, put all of those aerial roots down into the soil as well that way those could start to grow and establish themselves. I don't feel like cutting this in half and then like growing more monstera plants since i already have two i'll show you the other one later yeah i'm just gonna speed this video up a little bit and show you guys just me potting this up and uh trying to fill it to the top i'll water this in and then i'll have to add more add more soil to it later it, the soil is going to sink down in but let me add in this stick that way it has extra support and i can tie that plant to the stick that way it can just keep growing upwards instead of horizontally and grow like out of the pot and be at risk of tipping over because I actually did have this plant tip over once and it broke the plant in half and that's why I have two of these plants so I don't really want that to happen again because these do get quite large over time and I don't really have the space to have like a bunch of huge plants like that but I am hoping that this will start to grow fruit within the next couple of years. I can't wait to try out the fruit that Monstera plants have. So let me go grab some water and I can water this in. Let me fill this up. Um, I figured a gallon of water would probably work. Let me see if it's gonna start to drain out of the bottom with this. No, so let me go get more. And Lily has to check out the plant. She's very nosy. Of course, as soon as I start to add the next water to the plant, it starts leaking out of the bottom. So this is gonna be a little bit too wet. Let me put the base on, that way I can collect the water instead of it just dripping off of the balcony. Lily's gotta come over and check out the water cause she is obsessed with playing with water. And then let's just tie the stem to the rod. That way the plant can have some support and it can just keep growing, growing upwards. It's super hot outside. There's people yelling like crazy. There you can see people go into the pool, uh, make a mess, of course. And Lily's gotta come check it out again. I think I'm gonna have to move all of this stuff from over here to over there, cause I think it gets less sun because everything's just getting burnt here and I don't want this new leaf to get burnt. This is the leaf previously and this is the new leaf. So it's doing really well and the leaves are getting huge. This is the last leaf that grew out of this plant and it has this cute little hole but it got sunburnt right there and then this is the new leaf so I just want to protect it make sure it doesn't get sunburnt because it is only like three days old and this one got sunburned up there a little bit burnt there this leaf got super burnt right there this I think that the plant is just killing it because it's the lowest leaf so I think that'll be fine, but yeah, let me get to it. First, gotta move all of these chairs out of the way. If you're wondering why I have a box out there, that's because Ash loves to sit in the box and sleep in it all day long. Lily prefers just sleeping on the floor. Answer some text messages real quick while Lily investigates the new plant or the new pot. I have to do voiceover because there was kids over at the pool and there was this woman just screaming over and over the whole time. I gotta check to see where the sun is so that way I can decide where to actually put everything. So let me move this plant, it's completely full. So let me throw this water into, how about the potatoes? That's probably the best place to put it. I have some mini potatoes growing. I'll show you guys that later at the end of this video, all of the plants I have. Let me look at the sun again, see where it goes throughout the day. So the sun actually goes from that direction and goes downwards over the day. So it'll be blocked by this building by most of the evening. It'll be like six o'clock, it passes by. 
So I'll just move the tomato plants over towards the grating and then I'll move that like black table thing over to the black wall. That way it's just sitting there. And cause look, it has some shade right now. And I think I'll move some orchids out there later. So I don't really want the orchids to get burnt cause my orchids are currently getting burnt and I'll show you that too in a few minutes. So that looks pretty good. That should be out of the sun for most of the day. That new leaf is right in the sun, but I'll turn it around or something. I have a completely dead leaf on my orchid, so I just cut that off with a razor blade. That leaf got super sunburned and it just like completely shriveled up and died. Now let me rearrange everything. I think this Monstera I'll put over by the door. Put the potting mix over there, put this tomato there. Uh, that's my heirloom tomato plant. The smaller one is a grape or a cherry tomato plant, not really sure. Put back the box for Ash and the little toy for Lily. That way she has something to play with because she loves to sit outside pretty much all day. She just like finds shade underneath the chair and just lays there and enjoys the heat. Now let me just set everything back up, that way I can have a spot to sit. Usually when I work during the day, I'll come out and I'll sit outside for a little bit, get some sun, and then, yeah, this is what it looks like at the end. So let me give you a little tour of what everything, all of the plants I have in my place. This is my heirloom tomato plant. It got some weird, like, woodification at the bottom, and this one did as well. So I brought them outside, I quarantined them from the other plants. But you can see those cherry tomatoes, I think. I don't know if they're grape or cherry, but they're growing. Got some flowers, so I'm going to have some more growing soon. These are my baby potato plants, I think. They're like the little potato plants. These are Thai basil, sage, and rosemary. I've got some basil up top with this like fire-looking plant. These are succulents and a mint plant. And then down there is a mint plant. And then here is that Monstera that you already saw, looking nice and happy and healthy. And then over here I have a tomato plant that looks like it's dying, so I took it away from the other plants. This plant my cats love to eat, that's why that leaf is just completely chewed up. This is the other Monstera that came from that other one, it was just like two leaves when I started it. It looks pretty good now, it's growing and the leaves are getting darker green. And then this is my money tree that I got from somebody. It just had like two little leaves. And then these are all of the orchids. You can see that they keep getting sunburned even though they are in the shade. So I'm not really sure why they're getting so sunburned. But then let's go inside the house. These are the pink oyster mushrooms that I'm growing. Ignore the coffee cup because that just kind of molded. These are the tiger lilies. The flowers are dying. They'll come back next year. Then these are more succulents that are starting to grow. And then if we go over here into the guest bedroom, this is the main place that I have for growing tomatoes. This big plant is my black tomato plant. Uh, it's not making any black ones yet. That one's turning a little bit dark, but I haven't actually harvested anything from this and it's about the same age as the other plants outside. And then that is catnip. I'm not sure what those other leaves are um, and spring onions. And then these are all of the different types of tomatoes that I have. This one should be ready to harvest soon. It has a flower, so it'll have more fruit, some more catnip. Um, I've got some additional tomatoes back here that are growing. I'm just waiting for them to turn whatever color they're gonna turn. I'm not even sure what type it is. This plant is actually starting to grow good. Uh, it has some flowers. So I'm hoping to start to see some fruit soon. And then here's a better look at that black tomato plant. And this one is literally almost touching the ceiling. It's growing like crazy in here, so I just like tied it off. Uh, and yeah, look at this. We got our drug addict cat that likes to eat catnip and just chew on this whenever she gets the chance. She always runs into this room. And then down here are peppers, but these haven't germinated yet. It's been like two weeks, so I'm not sure if they're actually alive. So let's go into the bedroom. I have an additional set of some cool things that I'm growing. These are oyster mushrooms that I put the spawn inside of uh, some cocoa, the cocoa husk stuff. 
and I'm just trying to grow these bags so that way I can uh, have additional spawn, like multiply it. But just keep on growing oyster mushrooms. I don't actually eat mushrooms, but I like to like give them away to people if I can. I've had only two harvests so far, and apparently they came out really good. You can see there's a little bit of white in this. These are still growing a little slow. It should probably be like a month before they actually grow. And I've got my little nosy helper here. But yeah, that's all for the video. Have a great Sunday, and I will see you guys next week.